sick and tired of believing all the lies you tell yourself. Happiness is your disguise. So what you're saying shouldn't come as a surprise to no one. You don't want to give a chance to nobody. Don't want to be for nobody. Rather be at peace with somebody. Somebody who loves you. What's up, family? It is your girl, Matt Jew. Today, we are here with another video. You know, we still pushing through the 30-day challenge, uploading every Wednesday. So, you already know the first thing I need y'all to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you press that post notification bell. Because if you don't have the bell, how will you know when I'm going to upload? Like, how are you going to know? Like, you should press the post notification bell. But you already know, man, we uploading every Wednesday. This video was highly requested. Um... I got 19 questions, but um, yeah, that was the ones that got picked, and y'all want to answer, so I'm gonna answer them. This might be a long video, and it might not, but um, y'all stay tuned and y'all enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, so let's admire my skin and my hair. Okay, cool, done. So I ask these questions on Instagram, so if y'all don't follow my Instagram, y'all need to because that's where I'll be asking questions. Is that Ayo Juice 23? is going to be in the description below but i'm about to get right into it y'all we're going to run through these questions some of them might take me long some of them may not um but let's get into it so and i ain't got my glasses on so i can't see so yeah and i got it on my laptop whatever so number one uh is it really a sisterhood um i'm gonna speak on behalf of my chapter um it is really a sisterhood okay i'm back but um yes to keep it simple it is really a sisterhood cool cool Number two, what art are you a part of? I'm a part of Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated. As you can tell, that's what the A K A mean for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. That's what it means. Cool. What made you join? Uh, what made me join is um personally I've been wanting to be in a sorority for a very long time now whenever you're seeking an organization of d9 or whatever you know sorority fraternity or whatever um have a feeling of what you why you really want to join you know like what's your purpose like always have a why behind everything that you want to do in your life so i joined you know sisterhood um networking i definitely love networking that's amazing um uh, i just love it okay short and simple uh yeah but they're gonna have some like similar questions that i'm gonna answer like to why so that's why i just kept it simple cool cool all right next is um was it hard to get picked um no no and a lot of y'all may not know what i'm talking about but um, I would say no, it's not hard to get picked. I mean, the more you show your face, the more they're going to know that you want to be in the organization. So, like, if they throw an event, make sure you're at that event. Like, anything that they do, just be there. Like, literally. It's not hard to get picked. But, yeah, like, just go to all the events and um, show your face, bro. That's all. Don't go following them on social media and stuff. That's weird. But just be at the events and, like, they're going to be like, dang, she, he, they're really interested. Must be they always at our events you know i'm gonna have to check them out you know stuff like that so just show your face cool and y'all i really can't see um number five did you gain clout now a lot of y'all not gonna ad admit to this but i'm gonna admit to it i definitely gained clout from whenever i uh joined this sorority definitely i feel like everybody does i mean if you don't then um sounds like a personal problem but i definitely gained clout definitely there's not no other way to put it i just did um it's like everybody as soon as you like have your probate or whatever everybody seen the picture everybody being messy oh my god look what she did look what she did it's stuff like that and you just gain more followers and like oh my god that was you yeah it's just stuff like that cool got that 1908 in your bio whatever it is cool whatever clout clout cool um uh, number six what do you like most about going greek um like i just said like uh the most thing that i like about going greek would be networking connections always all i gotta do is make a call make a post send out a flyer whatever it is i'm gonna get it i'm like 
I just love the connection. So I think that's the best thing about this for me. You know, I can't speak for everybody. This is for me. What separates you from everybody else? Um, I'm not sure. Um, I really have a high personality. Uh, I'm just me, to be honest. I think that's just what separates me. I'm just me. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying nobody else don't be them, but I'm me. <laughs> you know, like, whenever I joined, people was like, oh, I didn't think you would actually be in this org or whatever. You know, you don't really fit. I mean, like, AK don't have a, a fit. It doesn't have that personality. Like, a lot of y'all, I have a lot of people that come to me is like, I don't think that would be like something I would look good in or something, you know, I think I would look good in that. I mean, like nobody has that specific personality or look. Whatever you want to join, join the organization. Be yourself. So I'm not that typical AKA that everybody wants to see. I'm me. Behind the letters, in front of the letters, whatever. I'm me. Cool. Uh, what are benefits that people gain from joining Greek life? Mm, uh, most importantly, sisterhood, connections, uh, clout. I'm joking. Clout is not really a good one, but um, sisterhood and connections is the main two. And um, learning like leadership skills from others, like the people above you, older sorors. It's stuff like that, you know, um, stuff that's going to help you benefit in life in the future, you know, something that's going to make you a better you and everything. So I feel like that's, that's the stuff. So like whenever you host an event, um, you're getting your leadership skills, hosting skills, not hosting, but like the way you're using your voice, like for these videos, I'm comfortable with making videos now and talking to people. Cause you know, you gotta do stuff like that. Showing other people your organization, you have to talk to people. That's the main thing. So I feel like, yeah, all that good stuff is benefits whenever you join an organization. Cool, cool. Were pink and green your favorite colors before joining? No, there wasn't. Oh yeah. It's just how it is. Like, this is not my favorite colors, yeah. And like people, ooh, ever since I joined, like people really only buy me pink and green stuff like can you go to another color like blue black something you know like i just want to buy everything pink and green yo now this may not look pink to y'all in the camera but it's really pink my mom changed the room and stuff like that <laughs> it's not like a, a pink like this but it's pink y'all it was not this color before anywho um why do somebody ask why do we expect everyone to disperse like we owe y'all something at a party. So I really like this question because a lot of people be asking that. So I'm about to go into detail with it. So let me sit back in my chair. Let me sit back. So I feel like if you're at a college party, like you should have their respect. You already should know like they're gonna have organization strolling. Um, and like move out the way either you don't move or they're gonna move you themselves and me I have no problem with doing it I really don't but anywho we're not gonna get into that um most of the parties that y'all have on college is hosted by a sorority or fraternity that's just it now if they strolling all in the club or whatnot I don't know I don't do that but like I said, if you don't want to move, you really don't have to move, but they going to move you themselves. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, uh, it's no disrespect or anything like no beef or nothing. But like, if you see someone strolling, just push to the side. It's not going to kill y'all. And if you're not happy with all of that happening, just don't go to the party because it's going to happen. And like, you know, I'm not trying to get on anybody, but a lot of people be asking that like, that's just how it is. I guess y'all, like, I can't really explain nothing more about it. Like, y'all don't owe us nothing. We don't owe y'all nothing either, but you gonna move out the way. Or we just gonna move you ourselves. <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. Like, you see us coming. You see everybody else is this person. And it be like that one person. Like, oh, I'm not moving out the way. 
Cool. Cool. Say less. So I'm here at a college party. What do you expect? What do you expect? Cool. Moving on. Whew. Hardest part about crossing over. For me, whenever I um first crossed, I felt like the um hardest thing for me was to actually like use my voice and um make myself like get out there, you know, talking to people and this and that. I didn't have all of that. Like I wasn't confident in talking to people and stuff like that. But now that I've like experience experience is like really good you know my leadership skills i'm getting out there more i'm making myself known basically so i feel like that was the hardest part oh and like um adapting to the whole new life basically you know because now i'm greek and you know like these three letters mean actually a lot whenever you know even if i'm wearing them or not it means a lot so like everywhere i go it's like people know like i got ak on my car People know who I am, so it's like you gotta watch what you're doing, watch what you say, and how you act on things. So, you know, it's just stuff like that you gotta think about. So, yeah, and like, you know, added an extra meeting to my days, you know, um, coming up with events, stuff that's gonna make people come out. You know, I go to a very difficult school, so it's kinda hard to think of things. But yeah, I think that's about it. It's nothing really hard, it's just something that you gotta get used to cool cool um next question what would you tell someone concerned about hazing rumors most importantly like let me just say this i've seen this a lot so like whenever you're at a, a um a, a university and you're trying to join the organization do research in that chapter like if you hearing shit or whatever like go figure that out but like um yeah talk to the advisor or something like talk to someone uh because hazing is definitely illegal like I mean, like, I don't really know. Like, that's all I would tell them. Like, it's illegal. Um, I know my chapter don't do it. So, like, that's all that matters. Any other chapter I cannot speak on, but my chapter, we do not haze. All right. I'm back. So, the next big question that I got a lot, like, a few times was, how do I join? So, so, the T is, like I said earlier, go to all of the events that they have for the organization that you're interested in keep in contact i mean you don't have to this is not this is optional uh become a friend with some like one of them you know or whatever do something have a little connection um another thing uh, whenever they have an interest meeting anything with d9 go like if you got work just take all for you know go later but make sure you go it's all about you and showing your face you know like you know just be yourself and go that's all just go on ahead um if you're in any other organizations show off but yeah um i just feel like you should go to all the um events interest meeting caucus i mean that's what they call the caucus at our school um, I don't know what to call it, everybody else. Um, yeah, like interest meetings, make sure y'all are at all of those so you can be updated on anything. And whenever they have um, rush or whatever, make sure you go there. Um, make sure you're, this This the key, hold up, pause. This is the key. Um, whenever you're on campus or whatever, make sure you dress your best. Don't be looking all toe up. When you're at parties, don't be doing all that wild stuff, y'all. Like just, Ooh, this this is the one so like whenever you're doing something like i told you everybody is watching you so like if you're at a party or whatever posting stuff like this on youtube you have to be professional and pro like professional and respectful about things that you post because whatever gets on social media is gonna stay on social media and it's gonna get back so you could have messed up by one little scene, one little middle finger or something. That's not an image that people want inside of their organization. Like nobody wants to see it. They'd be like, dang, this girl always flicking somebody off. Or that's the one that got an ass always hanging out. Like nobody wants to see that. I don't want to see that in my, in my chapter. I don't want to see that. Like I don't. So it's all starts with y'all. Like, you know, how do you join? It's real easy. Be respectful, be professional and just do what you're supposed to do 
be the image that we want. You know, like your name is behind the organization. You're behind these three letters. So like, stop. <laughs> Leave that old wildlife alone and be more professional. You're getting older by the day. So when you gonna grow up, you know, stuff like that. Cool, I'm done with the question, you know. Um, but yeah, just show your face and go to events and stuff like that. Um, next question is, how do we come up with strolls? Uh, yeah, I personally think that strolling is really hard, like, to come up with. So, that's not something that I'm, uh, that's not my cup of tea, you know. But, um, it's not hard to come up with, it's just not my cup of tea. But whoever the best stroll makeup or whatever word, you know, whoever comes up with strolls, uh, easiest, that's just how we go with, you know. We all put our input in, basically. You know, because you got to be as a whole. Like, somebody might not want to do that. Somebody want to do that. So, like, you got to come as a, a whole and agree up on things. It's, it's simple. It's fun, actually. But it's not my cup of tea. Okay? Okay. Um, Next question. Were you hazed? No, I was not hazed. If I was, definitely wasn't happening. But, no, I was not hazed. And um, I would like to say that Alpha Cap Alpha Sorority Incorporated is a non-hazing organization. My chapter don't haze. I have not been hazed. Nobody has been hazed. So, just gonna lay that out there, guys. Um, how did you know AKA was for you? Um, I love them. I love the K's, bro. I love the K's. I have a lot of K's in my life. You know, I just love the K's. I love how they um carry themselves. Um, I love the message that they give out there. You know, I just, I just love the case. You know, I love myself, so I know it was for me. And you know, like I said, I'll start with your chapter. You know, the uh, your chapter that you're in it really has like a big impact on you deciding your um your decision on what organization. Um, I love my chapter very, very much. You know, so stuff like that. I just know AKA was for me. And it is. Um. The next question: Is it hard, like adjusting to? At first, it was hard adjusting to Greek life, but now it's like a breeze. Um, I went into detail on that earlier. You know. Uh, what are some disadvantages? Um, I asked my chapter this question too, but um people think that since I have three letters on it's like I owe them something you know or like like they were saying like when we go places people be like oh I remember I wanted to be an AK you know all this and that like we didn't ask you that you know like but you're not an AK oh man I want to be an AK one day cool keep that to yourself <laughs> you know it'd be stuff like you know it I don't know I don't know y'all Disadvantages, people just actually cut up because you got those three letters. Like, they cut up, y'all. It don't make no sense how they cut up. People start to hate you. You lose friends. Not that we care, you know. A lot of people say whenever they cross, um, they lost a lot of friends. I lost a few, but I don't care. I wish y'all the best. You know, I'm doing me. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. Oh, my skin is really popping. And look the hair, y'all. Look the waves. <laughs> you see it. But yeah, y'all, that's really it. Um, yeah, this is it. This is the end of this video. Um, we could do a part two or something more related to Greek life. We can do that in another video. But if y'all have any more questions ideas anything y'all drop them in the comments like the more i be active since this is a 30 day challenge the more i'm active i need y'all to be active with me i want to give videos and like content on things that y'all want something that's gonna make y'all be active with me so man y'all make sure you like comment subscribe share this video make sure you have your post notification bells on because if you don't have them on how are you gonna know that i'm uploading but you know this 30 day challenge i'm uploading every wednesday um I love y'all. Thank y'all for the support. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at AOJuice23. It's going to be in the description. 
Um, yeah, man, if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Like, you might as well subscribe. And I keep telling y'all, it's only the beginning. Somebody told me to do my, my ski -wee. I don't know what I want to do it, though. But... Woop, 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 woop,